Jury selection underway in the trial of James Crumbly, the father of school shooter Ethan Crumbly, who killed four of his classmates at Oxford High School back in 2021. You understand that you are charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Yes. James Crumbly and his wife Jennifer accused of buying the gun used in the shooting, failing to secure it and ignoring red flags concerning Ethan's mental health. James pleading not guilty. Jennifer convicted on the same charges last month. We find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Becoming the first parent in U.S. history to be held criminally responsible in their child's attack at a school. During her trial, Jennifer Crumbly testified that James was responsible for the gun that was used by Ethan in the shooting. I just didn't feel comfortable being in charge of that. It was more his thing. It's not clear if James Crumbly will also take the stand in his own defense. His attorneys tried to get the trial moved, arguing the pretrial media attention would make it difficult to find an impartial jury, but that request was denied. A judge also decided to allow Ethan Crumbly's journals and text messages to be included. Nicole Beausoleil's daughter was killed in the shooting and says she doesn't understand why Ethan's parents didn't do more to prevent this tragedy. The stuff that he was doing and saying and writing and showing and watching is not just a kid going through a hard time. A student injured in the shooting is expected to testify at James Crumbly's trial. Jennifer Crumbly is expected to be sentenced next month. She faces up to 15 years in prison. Their son pleaded guilty and is serving life in prison. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.